Hi, welcome to the Terrain Tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to talk about adding land to your world, painting the land, and raising it up and making hills and whatever type of terrain look you want. So, for this one we're going to start with an empty world. Let's go to the Load World menu and find Empty World so we can start from complete scratch. Choose Play. Puts us into the game. There's nothing there so there's nothing to happen. As usual, we press the back button to get out of play and into the editor. Now the first thing we need to do, since there's nothing here, is add some land. And for that we need the ground brush tool. That tool will let us add new land and paint the existing land. So we choose that and we have our brush. That's that square there. Now when I use the right trigger, it goes ahead and paints terrain. And then I can use the left trigger and that will delete. And you notice I'm using the left stick to move around the same way that you move around with the camera controls. So let me paint a little more terrain. Now here I can say, well, let me use a round brush instead. The X button brings up the brush menu. You can choose whatever brush you want. And the round brush is nice. It's a little more natural. You can use the D-pad left and right to grow and shrink the brush size. So we can make a huge brush and paint big chunks at a time. Now the Y button allows you to choose materials. So here's our materials and let's go find something that looks a little more natural like grass. There's one. So I select that material. Now when I go and paint we get the nice grassy look. Now if you notice when I overlap where the existing terrain is it's not actually changing the existing terrain. It's just adding new terrain. And that's what I'm doing with the right trigger button. If, on the other hand, I use the A button, I come over here, the A button tells me to just paint existing terrain without adding any new terrain. So now there, I press the A button, and it's painting the terrain, but it's not adding anything new. So those are those two options that you have. So the next thing you want to do, we have a little bit of ground now. Let's go ahead and put some hills into it. So hit the back button and go to the hill tool. This allows you to raise and lower the ground. So right trigger allows me to raise ground. As I'm holding the right trigger down, the ground underneath it is raising up. Left trigger allows me to lower it back down. It can get a little bit rough sometimes, so the A button does smoothing and will cause it to blend in together nicely. Now one of the other brushes that I didn't show you before is this magic brush at the end. That brush actually selects a whole region that's the same material. So as you can see this whole piece of green is flashing with the, since the curse is there. Now when I move here this whole blue psychedelic thingy is flashing and here it's the other green region. Now what this allows you to do is for instance right now I'm in raise and lower mode. This will raise or lower that whole section. This is actually kind of cool because what you can do is you can raise it all up and then by using the D-pad left and right you can shrink or grow the selected region and now I've, I've pressed the D-pad left twice that shrunk the selected region in. Now when I lower the center I'm left with a perfect wall all the way around that region. So this makes it very easy to build wall off areas. And the one final thing I want to show you are the stretch brushes. What the stretch brushes do is that they allow you to build long straight sections of terrain. So I can stretch this all the way out and when I press the trigger it goes ahead and gives me a complete long section of terrain. So there you have it. Enjoy.